Hello, beloved. Welcome to the Prophetic Vessel Show. I thank you so much for your time. I thank you for joining me. This will be your message from God, all right? Let us step in and find out why were you spiritually led here? Why did you resonate with the title? What is here for you, beloved, and why did your own YouTube algorithm present you with this message? Furthermore, if you are keen or interested in booking me for my services, I do offer dream interpretations, love readings, spiritual path readings, as well as messages from God. Let us tap in and talk to God, all right? There's a disclaimer here that is coming through and it's, it's, it's from the energy that I'm channeling as well. God wants me to put out this disclaimer that this is in relation to something that can't be undone. Something that cannot be undone. state someone is reaping what they've sown here this happened damn like this energy I don't like it I don't like this energy I want to get out we have the devil we have the world all right, this is Capricorn energy. We have Leo, we have Aquarius, we have Taurus, all right? As well as Scorpio with the world, we have the, we have the Six of Swords. We have the Judgment. We have the Hermit Reverse. We have the Knight of Wands. And then here was the Ten of Pentacles. So here's what I'm seeing here, beloved, with the devil and the world and the six of swords here. It's like there is there is a, a level of fear here, all right? A level of fear that someone is in, um, and it's like something that has covered them. Like It's like someone is walking around like this every day like walking around in fear every day in their world their reality here it's like this is the type of person that is used to their life going a particular way like with the devil and the world they're sort of used to a level of fixation upon what their life truly entails like the details the nitty-gritty like i know this about my life i know this i know this i know this this is that type of person However, with this hermit reverse, there is a situation that this person is in that is putting them in a situation that they've never been in before. It's, it's like this person doesn't know. It's like they're in a, in, a, in a situation where they don't even know what to do. They don't know anymore. So we go from this person feeling like they know it all to them feeling like they don't know anything at all. So... Whatever has taken uh, place in this person's world is putting them in that energy. And now this person is in the energy of also trying to reevaluate everything that they've done to see what they could, what they could undo, what they could manipulate to go in their favor. They're trying to see a way, a tactic, a method, a form to go about something in order for there to be different results here. But I see that nothing is going to change about what is happening to this person. There's a level of stagnation that is taking place here. It's like this person was used to a certain flow in their life, a certain way of living, a certain way of being in their life. And that flow has been hindered by their own deeds here. I feel like this is self-inflicted by this person. This is someone that went against you. Like this is someone who I'm getting the energy of like someone who 
they knew they didn't have it in them to fully conquer you, but they had certain anchors and belief systems and certain concepts of life that they were worshiping. And they felt like those things will get them what they want, including your life, right? However way this person wanted it. It's like this person was very excited once upon a time, very lighthearted once upon a time. They, they used to have a very free spirit once upon a time when they knew what they were doing, when things seemed to be going in a certain direction. And now, now that this person is in a position where they don't even know, it's like, like they thought they knew, now they don't know. They thought they had it figure out, figured out, now they don't have anything to really say is figured out. It's like everything that this person sort of planted for themselves in their world, in their reality, is being uprooted by their own deeds. Again, I feel that this is self-inflicted behavior. This is someone who is spiraling, like spiraling out of control, like someone is losing control here. Losing control of everything, every single thing. So like things in this person's life are no longer happening the way they used to happen. Things in this person's life are no longer moving the way they used to move. This person is literally depleting. I feel like this is a form of judgment that is taking place in this person's life for what they did to you here. And not only just what they did to you, who they are as a resultant of what is occurring in their life. This person, how they identify themselves to be, what they do, what they say, how they move, who they are is the cause, the main cause of this. And the catalyst, the vessel, is you here. It's like you are teaching this person a lesson. This is someone that was stuck in their way to a point where they felt like they could take over the world with everything that they're about. Like, they felt they were untouchable to everyone. They felt like they could do anything. And I feel like what has happened to this person is something that they cannot even explain here. It's like someone is scared for their life because nothing is, is as they you once knew it. It's like imagine you wake up and your life is completely the opposite of what you once knew it to be. And you know that it's your doing and you know what you did and you know what is coming. You might not have the ultimate details, but you know this is this person. They're under judgment. Heavy judgment is occurring in this person's life right now. Hence, everything is going the way it is. What's the devil? We have the Six of Swords. This person had a plan for their own life, right? This is someone who thought they knew what life was about. They thought they had figured life out. They thought they had cr cracked particular codes of life that would get them to a particular place in their life. And therefore, they were dependent solely on these codes, quote unquote, to get them there. And now the codes that this person was holding on to are no longer effective. Nothing that this person had hope in is working out for them. Like, no matter how much they try, type energy, it's like whatever this person touches, it sort of like dissipates or it just falls apart here. Terrify the world. God is saying this is true karma. This is someone that has a lot to learn because of everything that they do, who they are, and all the things that they have said. What's the world here? Clarify the world. All right, we have the emperor. So this person thought they had a level of control upon their world, all right? They thought they knew what they were doing. They thought they understood. They thought everyone else around them was dumb. Like this was someone who looked down on people. They thought everyone around them was not in alignment like they are. They thought they had, they were ahead of their time. That's what they thought here. And this person's ego, this person's way of establishing themselves in the world 
is now their downfall because nothing that this person has in mind and has always had in mind is manifesting in their reality. They're, they aren't able to call in anything into their world without it falling apart or without, in, without it turning into something that is bad for them. It's like this is someone that is unable to call in anything good for themselves because of who they've chosen to be in life. It's like you want to call in good things, but you're out here planning killings. You're out here um, doing crazy things behind the scenes. This is this person. It's like this is someone here that is very dangerous and cold. They didn't choose to be content and bothered and healed. They chose to be cold and dangerous in their life. And they wanted to cause danger to your life. They wanted to be danger to you. They wanted to be a menace, a threat. They wanted to pose as one. For a very long time, this is what the aim was. What's the Six of Swords? But the Six of Cups. This person is stuck in the past, beloved. All right, they're stuck in a in a in a past paradigm that they can't get out of. This person cannot attract anything new for themselves they can't they can't they cannot manifest anything new for themselves i'm i'm see i'm not this again i'm stuttering i get to stuttering this person cannot call in anything solid all right they cannot manifest anything for themselves they're stuck in an old paradigm like they they can't feel any new emotions they can't think any new thoughts it's that type of energy. Their spirit is in one paradigm. It's like this person is trapped in a particular paradigm of life that is controlling everything. And that paradigm has nothing to do with being good or good things or goodness. It's all filth. It's all evil. And it's all darkness. Which is why this person is like with the devil and the six of swords. They've been trying to get out of this energy. We have double six of swords here. All right, Six of Swords is moving forward energy, moving forward, moving forward, or moving away, moving forward, moving forward, moving on. Just progression, movement, right? This is someone that has been trying to manifest this for themselves, like with the double Six of Swords here. They've been wanting progression in their life, but they've been wanting it their way. It's like this is someone that was born with a mind, right? that held certain level of ego that poisoned them. Their mind has been poisoned. This person's mind has been poisoned here. So the things that cross their mind, the things that they think about are very impure and very dark. This is a very dark person. And their heart is cold. There is no heart, God is saying. Like, there is no heart in this person. This is someone that feels nothing. They don't feel anything. For anyone, towards anyone. It's like, it's all about themselves. It's all about conquering the world their way. It's all about stepping into life in a certain um, likeness. It's all about defeating, intimidating. It's all about, I want this, I want that. Give me this, give me that. Whether or not this person deserves it, they don't care. They're just that type of person. But I feel like the shift that has occurred in this person's life is putting them in a position to not have any control over anyone, including themselves. Like, Life is sort of showing this person how lost they really are. Life is showing this person how much sanity they need. Life is showing this person that they, they, they've lost themselves and lost their mind. The Hermit reversed. What is the Hermit reversed? Please clarify the Hermit reversed. We have the hand man. This is the energy of stagnation. This person, they're going to stay behind in life. Like, they won't be able to call in anything new, do anything new, conjure up anything new. It's not going to happen for this person. They're going to stay in the energy of what they thought they knew, what they thought they had figured out, and what they thought they were in alignment with. They chose it, God is saying. So this is what is happening for them. It's all manifesting in this form. So this is not someone that knows that. But they don't want to be in that age. They don't want to get left behind. They don't want to get caught up. They don't want to lose themselves in their own doings. So every time this person is in a position of calm, they try to they try to find another way to 
like a, a shark. They just can't take their own things. So that's the difference between now and then. Then they could get away. Then they could have, back then they were able to think their way out of it. Now this person's mind is not functioning properly with the hermit reverse. This person's mind is literally, it's like down the rabbit hole we go, down the rabbit hole we go. And with the hand man here, it's constant. It's like this person is spiraling out of control. Like y'all, I feel like I'm going crazy. I want to tap out of this one. Let's tap in further here. Y'all, this is someone that is losing their mind. Like literally. Like literally. Someone's sanity is depleting here. Someone is going insane. Literally. get out of what they are going through is not going to work for them. They have to stay in this energy of repercussions and consequence. They have to do, deal with what they, they've done. And this person is like, they had a way of living that they thought was going to get them everything. Every way. Everything was going to lie. Everything is perfect. Everything they're going to get. Everything this, everything that. And they held on really tightly to what they thought they had figured out. They held on really tightly to what they thought they had, the codes they thought they had cracked of life. Hoping that it gets them there. It gets them there. And now this person is experiencing a whole, it's like, it's like a tower here. Everything is falling apart. Everything is towering. Because God is calling judgment upon this person's life. This is a wicked soul. This is a wicked soul here. They have no heart and their mind is in a very sunken place. They're losing their own mind. This is someone that is going out of their own body, going out of their own mind. Like Substances are involved here. This person is secretly taking things to numb the pain that they are hiding from everyone because they're used to not being in pain. They're used to having their way. They're used to life going in their favor. And now this person is in a different predicament. They don't even know how to act. They don't even know how to act. It's like, they don't know. Mm. Try to follow for uh, the Knight of Wands one more time. We have the King of Pentacles here. It's like this is someone that ruthlessly wanted a, a particular way of living, wanted, a, wanted to be in a particular place in their life. This is someone that ruth, ruthlessly chased a certain outcome to no good. Like, mm. they didn't want to hear anything that anyone had to say for a very long time because this is someone who thought. They knew it all. And now they're in a position where they have to ask for help. They have to even ask for money. They have to even ask for certain things that they never used to ask for before because nothing in this person's life is as they once knew it to be. Things are falling apart. They've lost control. And their mind is going. Like, I'm, I'm talking about... Every time I say that, I just want to blow. Like, see what I'm saying, y'all? This energy is crazy. Like... Ten of Pentacles, please. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. So we have the Seven of Pentacles reversed in the Three of Wands. 
There is no growth that is going to take place in this person's life. This person won't be able to grow. They won't be able to see a different paradigm, live in a different paradigm, be in a different paradigm. I remember I was going hiking with my partner, right? My partner and my brother and I we went hiking one time and we reached a really climatic point of it, of the mountain. And something that was interesting that we both saw, me and my um, partner, um, was a shadow hovering over a certain like area. Like, it's like there was, it, it was like a cloud. You know what I'm saying? It looked, it looked like that sort of area was the only area that was covered in that shadow. Like the shade, you know what I'm saying? When like there's shade and then there's sun. So there was a lot of shade in a particular area and it, it, it made me think of something and I spoke it to my partner and I said to him like, it's crazy that when you are in darkness, you think that is the only you think it's everywhere else. You think this is what is it. It's like you think this is the completion of where you have to be. Because that's the only thing you see. But there's a whole other world. Like I'm talking about this was the only area that I pinpointed that was covered in the shadow. And it looked like there was no sun. But every other place had a lot of sun. There was light. There was no darkness. But someone in that predicament of the shadow wouldn't see the light if they were not in it because they're covered in that darkness. So that's the um, analogy that's coming through here that God wanted me to discuss. Let's step in further to the layers of this energy. This person, they're unable to get out. It's like they're, someone is like entrapped in their own darkness here. Like literally...
We have the Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Cups here. No one is willing to give this person a helping hand or a listening ear because this person is someone that lies about their identity to everyone that is in their life. So no one really knows the truth of who this person is. And that's what they wanted. But now look at that. That's what's catching up to them because no one really knows who they are. They can't speak to no one without them feeling like they, they're just a fool because they know that the people that they are speaking to don't even know them for who they are. They know how much they lie. They know what they lie about and they really know the truth of who they actually are. They know that all they're doing is just portraying an act. They know. Beloved, this person is like... It's like they, they just, someone is just a bad person here and they just need to pay for their wicked ways. And the karma is being served. They can't run away from nothing. They just gotta sit in it. We have the angel of anxiety with the nine of swords. This person is going through a lot, y'all. These friends don't even feel the same no more around this person. Partying don't even feel the same no more. This substance abuse, this is someone that is a substance abuser and they do it with friends. They're the type of person that likes to escape into nothingness in their mind like this is someone that will drink until they don't know themselves until they're just asked out like they like getting there with it and any other level of substance that they're abusing they like that substance to just take them out like it must just it must it must break them for them to feel like yeah this like this is someone else man so that's what they've been trying to do, get away from like thinking about everything by going into their mind once more, but that's the place that is dangerous to them at this time the most. They have no heart, but their mind is dark and dangerous. They don't even like themselves no more. They try to be around these friends, be around chaos, being around, being around the spirit of chaos helps this person drown out their own noise here. But it's no longer going to be effective for this person to have this remedy because nothing is, it's like this, every, I wanna, I'm, I'm just, I wanna get out of this energy. It's like there's an energy of people, like, like I'm, I'm tired of this person type of energy. Like this is someone here that they just gotta like pay. They gotta pay the do they gotta do they gotta go do what they wanted for another. We got the Queen of Swords reversed. We got God's presence. Yeah man. God then came into this person's life whipping their ass with some judgment because they thought they knew better than God. They thought they had more power than God and they thought they could play God in your life. Now this person is distorted, like, which way will I go? God's putting so many illusions in this person's life about you, about everything, that they don't even know who they are. Just to show them how powerless they are, just to show them that they know God. They are no God. They are nothing compared to God. We have the two of pentacles reversed in the star. This person won't be able to get out of this and they won't be able to heal from this. They won't be able to heal themselves from this. They're going to go to the God that they were spitting on and cussing at and be blasphemous about and pray up. Pray up. And whether they choose to live in their head, like with time, everything that serves this person will perish right in front of their eyes. And it will be just them alone. And they'll still decide if they, they want to be big and bad. Then... Ashe. Nothing more. I'm equal to end this message for you here. This was your message from God. I thank you so much for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show, beloved. If you are keen or interested in booking me for my messages, for my services, I do offer dream interpretations, love readings, spiritual path readings, as well as messages from God. I also offer one-on-one -on -one sessions via Zoom call, FaceTime, Skype, as well as WhatsApp video call. I'll see you tomorrow for another message on the Prophetic Vessel Show. Goodbye.